What's good everybody, it's your boy Eddie here and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And for today's video, we have a sneaker that I am extremely excited to be reviewing. One of my favorite sneakers of all time because I literally had the past two retros. But before we even continue guys, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. And what we got right here is none other than the Air Jordan 4 Retro Military Blue. And guys, I have to say that I am extremely excited to be reviewing this pair because one, I had it for so many years and so many retros, and it's just an amazing shoe. It's my favorite color blue and just the right amount of blue with the nice white hits as well as gray hits, and it is absolutely awesome. But I wanna hear your thoughts in the comment section down below to know what you think about this Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. And now guys, let's just briefly go into the box details. And what we got right here is our standard flight logo box right here. So we do have the red Jumpman with the white flight in script. Then when we go into this side of the box right here, you can see the sticker tag, and it does read off as Air Jordan 4 Retro, and the colorway shown is off-white and military blue. And I'm starting to think that when they put that industrial blue on the sneakers app, I think that had to be a mistake because clearly the color is military blue and the colorway on the box says military blue as well. So hopefully they changed the name and convention or I'm not really sure why they even did that in the first place, but it is what it is on that guys. So when it comes to the sizing of the sneaker, I want my true to size of a size eight and I 100% always recommend to go with your true to size when it comes to Air Jordan 4s, unless you already have history with wearing Air Jordan 4s or if you go a half size up or a half size down, then that's on you but my general recommendation is always to go true to size. And now when we open this box lid right here, we do have a standard red inside of the box. And then we're going on to the inside of the box. Now you can see that we do have our standard white wax tissue paper. However, it does have some custom cement speckles on it, which looks absolutely awesome. And that's pretty much all that comes inside the shoe. Now with that being out of the way, guys, let's just focus on to the history of this amazing sneaker right here. So when looking at this Air Jordan 4, it initially released back in 1989, which makes this sneaker 35 years old, which is way older than me and pretty crazy how a sneaker that came out in the 80s is actually still very relevant today. It literally stood the test of time. And this is a sneaker that no matter how much stock they're gonna make, especially with the OG colorways, they are bound to be sold out. So if you guys did not see, this sneaker actually shock dropped last week. And it was a lot of pairs that shock dropped, but a lot of people were not able to get pairs. So fortunately for me, I was able to get this for the review guys. And something else to note about the history as well as design aspect of the sneaker is the fact that this Air Jordan 4 is the second Jordan that Ticker Hatfield designed. Also, when looking at the Air Jordan 4, you can see this Jumpman logo right here, but with the flight detail. And this is the first sneaker in all of Air Jordan history to feature that awesome flight logo and script right there. And that differentiates itself from the Air Jordan 1s, the Air Jordan 2s, as well as the Air Jordan 3s, because those initial three only had either the Jumpman Wings logo or just the standard Jumpman logo. And this actually separated itself from the pack but something else to note is the fact that the design history of this sneaker is that it is inspired by a world war ii military jet fighter if i'm not mistaken when you look at this web netting this is the same type of mesh design that they actually use on those planes which is a pretty nice detail to note and one more final detail to mention about the design history of the sneaker is the fact that this was the first air jordan to feature this beautiful wings eyelet right here and is definitely one of the most standout features other than the mesh that is on this air jordan 4 and with that being said guys let's just focus onto the details of the sneaker. So in focusing onto the toe box of this sneaker, I'm not gonna lie guys, the quality of this sneaker isn't the best, especially when you compare it to the Pine Green SB4s that came out last year. But that's to be expected because SB collaborations usually have the better quality anyways. And when looking at the 1989 Air Jordan 4, the quality isn't the best on it either because you do have that synthetic nubuck on it as well. And then when focusing onto the leather of the sneaker, there's 1.2 million pairs of the sneaker being created. So obviously when it comes to a general release, least it's not going to have the most premium materials but if the rumors are true i did hear that they are trying to release a blue or royal blue version of the air jordan 4 sb and if they do that i am 100 all for it because it is absolutely going to be an amazing shoe with a great color blocking and quality premium materials but anyways guys when going towards the top of the shoe now you can see that we do have this beautiful web netting right here so the web netting itself is actually in this white colorway however when you actually look at the color of the mesh it is in that military blue color which absolutely makes the shoe pop then when looking at the laces we do have our standard white laces and it does not come with any extra pairs of laces which is fine with me because this sneaker is a classic it's beautiful it looks great and I don't need any changes to it. Now when going on to the top of the tongue tab, you can see that that Jumpman detail is in 
and that military blue color. And then when looking at the flight script logo right there, it is in that black colorway. Then when flipping over the tongue, which is standard to all Air Jordans, you can see that it does say Air Jordan right there and it is inverted. So when you actually flip over the tongue, it looks standard. Then when going on to the lateral side of the shoe right here, guys, you can see that we do have a beautiful all white upper. It does say off white on it. And I can see that it is a little bit off white. It still has more white to it instead of that kind of aged off-white look. So I have no problem with that at all because the shoe still looks absolutely amazing. Now when focusing onto the eyelets of the shoe, you can see that we do have some blue eyelets right there. However, on the top of the eyelet, you can see that we do have this wings detail, which looks absolutely nice. And it does contrast because the wings itself is in that white detail. However, the eyelet itself is in that royal blue plastic detail, which is absolutely amazing. Then when looking at the web netting on the lateral side, you can see that the same thing pretty much follows suit as the tongue. So we do have that white web netting as well as that military blue mesh. Then when going on to the back heel area of the shoe now, you can see that we do have that beautiful Air Jordan 4 tab and it looks absolutely awesome, but it does follow more so on the materials of the SBs. It's not as soft and rubbery as the SB4s. However, it is a softer material than what they use on the standard Air Jordan 4s because these joints used to be super rough and would bust up your Achilles area. And some people would even have their Achilles area bleeding just due to the fact that this thing was so rough and would just rub the back of that area. But now it is super soft and I don't think you would be encountering any of those issues. Now when going on to the medial side of the shoe, the same thing pretty much follows suit as the lateral side. So there's nothing really to report right there. So now let's just focus onto the midsole area. So as you guys can see, we do have this military blue midsole with some white details as well as this rubber white detail right here which looks absolutely awesome and then we do have that exposed air jordan 4 bubble right there and you guys could probably see my hand because i could definitely see my hand through the bubble right there then when going on to the outsole of the shoe now you can see that we do have that beautiful herringbone traction pattern on the air jordan 4 with all different colors on it so we do have our grays our whites our military blues as well as that og nike logo right there which looks awesome on the shoe man one more thing that i want to show you guys before we conclude this review is the fact that we do have this polyurethane military blue insole right here and it does have this nike air logo one more thing actually before i conclude this review there's one more thing which is this og hang tag right here and it is in that orange nike logo right there which looks absolutely awesome and definitely stays true to its roots and with that being said guys that's pretty much going to conclude all the history as well as the details of the shoe so now let's get right into this on for look all right Right, child so that's going to conclude the review as well as the on for look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did making it for y'all definitely let me know what you think about the air jordan 4 retro in the military blue colorway is it a cop is it a drop do you think that it's better than the bread reimagines and i personally think that this is the best air jordan 4 to release this year but i want to hear y'all thoughts in the comment section down below it's been about 12 years since i last had this sneaker and i am super excited to have it back in hand but other than that y'all don't forget to like share comment subscribe share it with your friends and family and all that and i'll catch you on the next video Peace.